Hey there, Loricana fans. This is Travis Rudros Pfeiffer here, bringing you a deck tech and some pixel board matches. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button if you're interested in more Loricana content. And today, I am lucky to have my good buddy Dalton on here to help coach me through some of these matches. Dalton, how are you, sir? I'm doing good, and yourself? Excellent, excellent. I'm happy to have you here. So this was a deck I first saw you playing, uh, and kind of, so here's the deck tech we're looking at right now, or, or the deck. Um, so this is kind of like an aerial item list, right? Yeah. So what's the, what's the goal with this? Because I noticed there's a lot of items, a lot of songs, actions, not a whole lot of characters. Yeah, so this is just a, I, I've always liked combo lists and a lot of the TCGs I've played, and so on this one, aerial really stood out to me. I didn't super love her at first being an uninkable card, but the reactivation with items ended up working out really well with some of the other cards in the list. Uh, keynotes being like Maurice and some of the other ones. And I've had matches where I played with my wife and stuff like that. And I had one game where I went from zero lore to 20. And I was like, okay, this list may, may actually be <laughs> something that's semi-competitive, not... Not the top, but still yeah. very fun. Yeah, that's awesome. I, d I think the first time you played it against me, I didn't realize, you know, I'm used to cards like um, Shield of Virtue or Moana that say, hey, you can ready this character, but then they can't quest anymore. But Ariel doesn't have any text like that, so you can just keep questing with her over and over and over and over and over again. Yeah, for sure. Eye of the Fates also makes that very detrimental too, so. Yeah, I can see that extra lore. Okay, so we don't know how great this is going to be, but... We're going to jump into some matches, and we're going to see how we do. All right, what are we keeping here? Uh, Ariel's a good combo piece. I don't love keeping uninkables in your first hand, but you have the bell. Develop your brain looks for items. I would probably get rid of the smash, uh, one scepter, and then tank in one develop your brain. You're going to want to look for the Maurice, is what I would probably look for first. There you go. Nice, you found one. Oh, we got our one of Tamatoa. So we've got Amethyst yep. on the other side. Good old Olaf coming out. So yeah, uh, as much as I love Tamatoa, he's way too expensive in a in a list like this. And I feel like if this is a Ruby Amethyst, we're probably going to get fireballed pretty quick. Um, so I would, yeah, I'd probably ink Tamatoa, and then just play develop your brain and kind of look for combo pieces. Uh, I can get another fish. I can get a fishbone quill. I have I would an Arendelle. Yeah. You want to get up to that six ink as fast as possible so you can get Maurice out and have him start uh, getting free card draw. It's like his quest ability for reducing an item is super nice, but the ability to just draw on one cost items card for card is super beneficial on this list. Okay, so they're playing an aggro list. Emerald. It's not Oh, yeah. this is a kind of aggro. Yeah, I'll take this kind of aggro. Nice and slow. Hey, cool. We got our one of Aurora. Yeah, not bad, not bad. Um, Unless we want to jam out Bell's some items. A, yeah. Nothing yeah, we can Bell's do. Yeah, three two. costs as well. And it, as much as I want to get on an item, uh, you have the flower, right? And then the scepter. I yeah. think you're fine to play the scepter if you want to ink. Uh, goodness. I guess we have to decide on what we want to do for turn three. Do we want to play the bell or do we want to play the fish bone? Okay, I, uh... And in my mind, Bell's not trading into those Olaf super great anyway. Do the fishbone. So yeah, I would probably do the fishbone for now. I, so I'd probably ink the bell and then just play like Scepter of Arendelle. Okay. So is there a... We don't want to save the items to do a big aerial turn. We're fine putting some out early. I do. You do. But like you have that list, it has like 20 some items in it. Okay. We will find more, especially with that Maurice card draw. I, won't, I don't want to play a ton. Um, but I want to get to that ink. So, like, next turn, what we're looking at, to spin, depending on what we draw, is probably going to be inking Aurora into Fishbone. Gotcha. Um, as much as that, like, protection is nice. Like, we're not going to outpace this person. The only way we're going to potentially survive is, like, a... Double Fishbone's a bit much. You may be able to just ink the Fishbone, play Fishbone, and then... What do we send packing? I think we send the Aurora away because she's not going to do yeah, anything. Yeah, there's no Ruby, so. Yeah, so now we pass and do we next turn get we have Ariel out yeah, yet or get wait? Ariel out, I think. They don't have any removal for Ariel uh, in Emerald or Amethyst. Other the than best Mother's no best, yeah. Free. Yeah, so I mean they can bounce her if they want to, but like at that point I'm totally okay with them wasting Oop, a turn clip. Hans. Yeah, we're gonna be on for some pressure pretty quick. Um, 
Plus seven. Yeah, they're going to go to 14 on the next turn if I don't have any removal, but I don't have any removal, so. So here's what I would probably do. Uh, we, as much as we want to survive right now, we may have to ink the Eye of the Fates to keep pace. Uh, and then Fishbone Quill, a... Uh, and probably the air to be honest oh really we're gonna, need to, we're gonna have to dig with those one cost items to try to find a double grab your swords next turn probably or we die okay so we uh, fishbone quill Ariel, put out maurice right yeah. yeah unfortunately this is not a great deck or like a great video to show off this list but, well, no, well, right no, now, but this is part of it too right is that sometimes yeah. it's gonna get stomped on by aggro like this yeah. so Oh yeah, for sure. This is definitely a late game deck. You're meant to go and like build up your items and survive, but in order to try to stay alive here, we're we're kind of just pressing our foot to the gas and trying to keep up. To if we could find a grab your swords off the top, that would be huge. We could sing with Maurice, and then we could try to dig with the few item or like the one item for another one. Ooh, that's a lot right. lower. Yeah, it's about the only option we have. Is uh, okay. Well, so now we gotta play. We can't quest with them because we need to get a double grab your swords, probably. Um, so just put so out any probably, of the. Yeah, I would put out one of the items. Scepter is probably the best. Uh, play that and see what you draw. Yeah, big tank. How much? Uh, he's a two cost seven k or two seven, right? Yeah. But he can't trade them to Hans. I, only, I can't uh, kill anything here. <laughs> yeah, so I don't know what we have. I mean, you could ink the Tinkerbell. You have one more draw, basically. You can ink Tinkerbell, play one more Golden Flower, and hope to gosh you find the second Grab Your Swords. Yeah, uh, I mean, hope I find the first one. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, you have to find the first one still. Or a whole new world. Whole new world. Oh, damn. Well, eh, I mean, you can play the flower, see what you get. You could potentially find a whole new world, I guess, but I still don't think that saves you. Well, we found yeah. a song, but not the right one. Not quite it, this game. Unfortunate. Pretty much boned here, right? Yep. There's nothing you can really do. I mean, yeah. Unfortunately, you're you're kind of out of luck. I don't think you could. I mean, yeah, we'll Ariel can't see this one. Unfortunate. There's nothing else to do. Yeah. Yeah, we'll see. Yep. All right, got our second match, though. Going second again. Would have liked to go first, but you know it's me, and I never go first, so. Yeah, for sure. All right, what do you like here? I would basically get rid of everything except Maurice. And then, uh, yeah, even I, I think. I think I get rid of everything besides Maurice. Not a, so you're saying it's not a great hand. Hey, we have some removal. That's nice. Yeah, that's not bad. That's that's good. It would have been nice to get rid of that Cheshire on... Turn three last game, and it looks like we might have another aggro match. Oh, goody. That's interesting. They inked the stitch and didn't play a stitch. So, hmm. um, pr probably play develop your brain. The question is just yeah. what do we ink? Um, they didn't play a card here, so it makes me wonder, because I was like, oh, if they play Lilo into Simba, then we just smash the Simba, but... Um... Scepter is... isn't bad. I, I'd probably get rid of Scepter, yeah, and play develop your brain, see what you can find. And to be honest, if we... Ah, oh yeah, Fishbone is better here. I was saying, if we found the big tank, that'd be the one thing I would say yeah. we may keep, since we have little in hand. But... Tinkerbell would be very nice. Depending on the play here... Okay. Is it Lilo? It's a Broom. Okay. It's an Amber Amethyst. Interesting. I wonder if it's the starter deck. <laughs> that'd be kind of funny. That would be interesting. So turn two, I don't actually have anything I could play this turn, so unless I draw something, it might just be an ink and pass. Yeah, what is this person waiting to choose the trigger on, though? They have nothing in the break zone, I didn't think. Yeah, I don't know. This... Hmm. Okay. Um, so just, what do we ink? Obviously, don't want to get rid would, of the removal or Maurice. Yeah, I would probably get rid of Tinkerbell, play uh, uh, Fishbone. Oh, no, you're not on No, I'm not on two. Uh, yeah, I would probably just get rid of the... The tink. We're not seeing big right now, um, so I think we're okay with that. See, and that's something where you're in our, you're in my style differ a bit, is because part of me is like, oh, but what if I draw into the tink? But I understand you're like, yeah, but if you don't draw into the tink, what's that card doing for you? Yeah, I mean, at best, she's just filtering stuff, which is fine, but like, eh. 
against this, like you're just looking for those combo pieces. Uh, Double Maurice is a great late game thing, but I don't think you need it. You can probably get rid of one right now and then get Fishbone out there. And uh, since you have the whole new world in your hand, you're going to draw pretty quick. So I would probably ink the uh, smash here. Your opponent's not really putting on pressure, so you don't really need the removal um, right now. And I just pass. Ooh, we get a whole new world next turn if we wanted to. Although I'd be losing my own Maurice. Yeah, so next turn, uh, depending on what we draw, it's looking like potentially a Maurice. So you'll ink one, fishbone something, Maurice, and then... Pass. Uh, yeah. The phone turn, you'll probably like item to draw and then see what they play. As far as another one. So, okay, well... They really want us to not keep those Maurices. Uh... <laughs> so what are we looking at here i mean we could take it slow here and set up aerial there's no need to rush maurice out yeah um we definitely could just like aerial here and ink like one maurice and then fishbone the scepter maybe yeah I don't uh, know, I hate that. that'll get us up to six for next turn and then potentially yeah that's fine I say the only other option would be to potentially ink the eye, which I, I really value eye, but I inking too. the eye would have allowed us to play Maurice and a one drop next turn. The one drop Ugh, fates. All these Jafars waiting to kill my aerial. They're not questing for much though, so that's good. Yeah. To be fair, that Jafar ain't gonna get much done if the cards never dole, so. Okay. Alright. We're only so drawing now, Scepter and Maurice. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's all we have this game. Um, I would probably, as much as I like I, I would ink Eye of the Fates here, play Maurice. And that will give you your, your engine of draw, and then I would quest with Ariel. And then we put the scepter put out. The scepter. Yep, and trigger, trigger. Oh. If I sing that, she'd be dull is the only problem. Yeah, well, she can't sing that because she's only a four cost. Oh, so duh. I would... Yeah. I would probably ink one with Fishbone and then pass. You're going to basically keep yourself at zero, and next turn you probably plan on singing with Maurice. And then <laughs> Maurice pass. loves to sing a whole new world. Bell, yeah, bro, have I ever told you? <laughs> Back when he was younger, he mm -hmm. met this girl named Jasmine. That's right, and he and I can have a carpet in a faraway yeah. land called Agrabah. Yeah. It's actually a whole connected universe, so the more you know. Okay, so let's see if we can pop off this turn with a bunch of items, if we're lucky. We've drawn a bunch of scepters, though. Yeah, my only worry here is that he's probably going to kill Maurice if we sing, which is... Ooh. Do we care about him? Hmm. My only worry or wonder is, like, do we care... Hmm. Maybe we don't have him sing just so he doesn't die. Yeah. I think the card draw is going to be very important. He's not... Uh, I mean, he's I only going to go to 13. I think we go for uh, I think we go for items. I think we quest uh, quest with Ariel first. Yep, and then we oh that was a slight misplay. We should have used the scepter just in case. Oh yeah, uh, oops. Then we could have buffed him up. That's fine. Play the frying pan. Trigger, trigger. No, Good no, no, draw, no. eighty. Okay. Um, now Jafar is a two five, correct? Correct. Okay, and Ariel's a 3-3. Three, three. Correct. She could buff him up enough to trade into a Jafar, but that would still mean... Yeah. Here, okay, here's what I personally would do. I would... I would use the Scepter on Ariel to give her support. Okay. Quest. And then... I would... Before that, I would use Holy World. Let's see what we draw first. I want to make sure we get a, at least one one-cost item. I feel Sing like don't or play it? Thing. Sing it? Uh, we're going to... Yeah, no, 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 no sing, just play. Five ink. Oh, it's so fast now. Oh, that's amazing. Okay. Uh, okay, we got a flower. So I would quest with Ariel now. I would support Maurice. Nice. Maurice is going to punch the Jafar. And then we're going to use Frying Pan on the other Jafar so he can't challenge. Okay. And then we'll and then we'll play the flower, which will reactivate the aerial. Draw. And then we can ink the with fishbone we can ink the 
I still have a normal ink too. Oh wow. Okay. Uh, ink the other fish really bone. Yeah, I think that's fine. I'm trying to think if there's something we really want to get out here, like another item to potentially draw another card. Uh, coconut basket doesn't really help unless the new character's coming out. We could not get up to three. We is it valued? Do you value saving Marie? So right now they have. We three, could banish four, five, the flower. Two. I oh that's true. How mm -hmm. much damage do they have? They have seven on board currently, yeah, right? Correct, but they'd have to use everything. So, so I would say you could potentially fishbone your uh, smash and then play another frying pan and then stun the Jasper. So again, he still can't hit the Marie's. Oh, I should have quested with Ariel. Damn it. Oh, yep. Oh, well. Eh, we're, learning. we're learning. Stun the Jetsam? Yeah, the three guys. Yep. Do I and heal Maurice right. or just not worry about it? Uh, the worst thing he has is a top deck Rafiki, which would be three damage and rush, and the flower wouldn't save him from that. So I think you're fine to just hold. And I would just pass there. Yep. <laughs> and the poem's like, oh, I get to play now. Damn, I forgot to quest with Ariel. She doesn't seem like the quest is nearly as good without Eye of the Fates, though. She's only questing for one. Yeah. You definitely need, like, one of her and or potentially, or, like, one, you need at least an Eye of the Fates. If not, you need, like, Multiple two Ariels. Ariels yeah. yeah, that would be ideal. Zeus. Zeus. Zeus! We've inked one and discarded one. So that's not horrible. I mean, it's not ideal, but Zeus is a it's a big baby. You're able to trade into him next turn, technically with Ariel for free, and then reactivate. So we just got to find our eyes of the fates. They're, they're at a plus six, so this is yeah. We're gonna need a we're gonna need a big turn, and without our item draw now, because they killed our freaking Maurice. We do have a whole new world. Ooh, yeah. Um. And to be honest, we may have to play that because I don't know. I would play Develop Your Brain first, see if we can find some key piece that we need. Well, um, we can do Simba, probably. He's a cheap way to filter. Just put him right out? Yep, I would play him. He's also able to trade with the support from Ariel if needed. That's interesting. Discard a coconut basket, probably? Uh, I would probably get rid of the mirror, just because I don't think we're going to go down to low cards too quick with Whole New World. Um, and then I would probably Ariel hit Quest. the Zeus, I guess. Oh, yeah. Have her attack. Two, right? Yep. Yeah. And then play Coconut Basket. And then play the uh, Tinkerbell just outright. And then pass. This way, next turn, and then, yeah, you can cancel. There's no way to heal right now. Um, I can, do I want to ink also, or hold on to these? I would probably ink a coconut basket, because next turn you're probably going to either sing with Tinkerbell or you're going to cast the whole new world to fill up your hand again. Should I support a request plus the flower or not worry about it? Uh, One lore doesn't seem too important. The only instance where that may have mattered, and this is probably a misplay again on my part, is if you would have traded in, you could have healed with Coconut Basket before playing the Tinkerbell. I could still, like, kill the Maleficent and then put it out uh, readier. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, you could do that. I think that's not a bad play, and then you could potentially also just heal her with a flower, because yeah. the ones on the field aren't going to do anything at this point. Like, they're good, and you don't want to risk uh, her dying, so. Yep, and then just pass there. We got some a little combo potential. Yeah, I need either more aerials or or Eye of the Fates or something. Yeah, we're not seeing the. We need the Maurice out here. We need that card drawn badly. And we we inked a bunch too. Is the problem we kept drawing them? Yeah, I know, which is not ideal. And I wish again. That's just the thing. I wish we could do is look at our ink well. But can you check your bra uh, your graveyard yeah. or your brainstone or discard pile? So we have one in there. I thought we got rid of one from I or from whole new world. Well, that was like the one that died. I think. It got killed gotcha. or banished. So then we have one left. Interesting. Not bad. Uh, Simba can take out basically anything here with enough aerial support quest too. So yeah, that'll be nice. The only quest uh, you... the evasive though. Might be a little trouble. 
Well, you're going to probably kill that with the Tinkerbell killing something if you get attacked with anything. That's true. That looks like he just quested with that. He's on a plus six. Ooh, we got grab your swords. Good. Um, It takes out one, two, three things. Let me see here. So you may just grab your swords seeing with the Tink uh, and then just play the whole new world. Tinkerbell, known for her. Grab your swords, grab your par fairies. <laughs> He's been hanging around Captain Hook a bit too much. Um, and then we will probably whole new world, just play it outright so we can get some combo pieces. God, that's so much There's Maurice and some. There's items. another grab your sword. You can wipe the board now with that oh, if that's you true. want. I think and that keeps your Tinkerbell alive. Yeah, I think we do that. Yeah. And I can still technically quest. I would recommend playing a developer rain first, and then you could potentially quest with Simba. I would not expose Ariel, but I oh, defense. I have the face. That's very nice. Um, yeah. Well, I can still ink something or fishbone something to ray yeah. Ariel. <laughs> to ink, yeah. So I would, uh, yeah, I would quest with both, and then you can. You have advantage on the board now. I would ink the. Develop your brain, probably. You're going to get into a lot of card draw with Maurice next turn. And then just play the Scepter. You don't want to go through too many items either, though. Right. So now your Maurice is going to come out next turn. You want to be able to go off with him. Just pass? Even if, yep. I would just pass there. Well, in Eye of the Fates now, Ariel can really start putting some lore up. Putting up those oh, lore yeah. numbers. Oh, yeah. So next turn, it's going to be a setup with Maurice and Eye of the Fates. And hopefully another item. And then after that, it's, yeah, it's just going to be... Going to town. This person looks like they're trying to set up for an Elsa. I don't know if they're trying to shift her next turn or what. Um, but we do have to be careful of that because that will be what would kill our Ariel. And that would not be ideal. But The Sorcerer. And the Broom. And you can definitely sing that away with the Tinkerbell. You could let it go, her one-hit wonder song. Um, nice. So, Maurice. Oh, Maurice first, for sure. He's always coming down this turn. Uh, there's no one to heal. Yep. Yeah, I couldn't attack anyway. Uh, quest and so Eye of the Fates? Or? Fates. I, would, I would quest first with Ariel, because Eye of the Fates will reactivate her by being played. Yep. Draw, draw, or draw trigger. And then... Let's see here. Yep, I would give that to her just in case. Even if we don't quest, it's still a, the play to do. I would probably Tinkerbell sing Let It Go on the Mickey so he doesn't trade anything in. Not that I think he will, but gets it out of there. Gets the two more out of there as well. Um, Quest Flower? And then, yep, you can quest. I'm going to quest with Simba too because I don't care if they hit him. Yeah. See what you get. Okay, that's pretty good. No more items, um, though. Yeah, you could technically... I don't know how much I value grab your swords now that you're head on board. I'd probably ink the bell and then ink the uh, fishbone to grab your swords and then just hit smash on the Elsa. That way he can't exert your uh, aerial if he wants to. And now I just sit, I'm assuming? Yep, and now you just pass. Man, this guy, you made this card seem so busted. It seems so slow right now. It is very slow without those Eye of the Fates. And, like, oh man, I feel like we are, uh, we're seeing, like, we saw all the Maurice's early, which is so unfortunate. So now we, like, get one, and then he dies to, like, a bunch of rush targets. It's very hard to, like, decide on whether or not to keep that Maurice up or not. It's yeah. great to get his ability to discount an item, but... Right now, we need that, that beast mirror off the top or something, or a whole new world. Yeah, because now I'm just I'm stuck drawing whatever I draw per turn. Mm -hmm. I mean, even if you get an item, though, Maurice will draw you every time you play one. So That's true. You so are at 14 inks, so you are into a lot of item draw right now. You, it literally could just be one into another into another. So you literally, you're probably looking at winning next turn if you get one item. That's all you need. Um, Eye of the Face pretty much ensures you that. Uh, so we'll see. He didn't right. have Elsa. That's huge. Um, Did have Rafiki, Rafiki though? Oh my gosh! Double Rafiki. Is he gonna kill? No. He oh didn't. wow. Yeah. Well, that well. That's oh, pretty much the worst card you could. Yeah. Have. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Um, well, I mean, how much uh, lore do you have on board currently? Six. If yeah. I quest with everyone. Yeah, so... Um, that's I, I could just attack the brooms with her ping two on whoever facilier. Yeah, I mean, I would attack with Air, uh, with Tinkerbell under the brooms, ping the Rafiki. Oh, so um, he kills himself, yeah. Yeah, even if he trades into the Simba. And then you can quest with the Simba. And then just... Sit? I should have given him eye the fates, I'm stupid. Oh yeah, true. It's alright. Uh, uh, I just there. Pass. There's a lot of items to remember in this. <laughs> I would just pass. Yeah. God. Oh, we have ransacked. If you get another terrible item, at least you can use ransack to yeah. remove the other. <laughs> oh my, you're so, like, yeah, that's the worst card we could have drawn there. Yeah, this is fine. He's gonna get a bunch of. Or he's gonna get him back. Good job, bud. You're gonna kill it and get it back, and that's fine. See, this is why I don't like that card. Like, even getting that Rafiki back, he still can't play it. Like, how good does that facility feel here? Are you going to quest for three with it? Are you going to expose him to potentially dying to Maurice? I don't know. Now, that card's an issue. But yeah. hopefully we get one item and we just win the game here. Right. All we need is one item. So. Come on. Come on. Let's get us an item. Not another ransack, yeah. please. Although I'll just obviously use one ransack for the other. Yeah. I'm going to find two more ransacks so we don't even run on the list. <laughs> Is uh, a single okay. item enough to get us the win? Oh, yeah. Especially that one. I would quest with Maurice here first. Should I? Reduce the Eye of the Fates. Do I Eye of the Fates one of these two? Uh, you're going to Eye of the Fates Ariel for sure. And then you're going to quest with Maurice to reduce the item. The next item you play by two. Then you're going to play Eye of the Fates. Wait, wait. Oh, shit. Sorry. Should have quested with Ariel first. You said play Eye of the Fates. Damn it. Yeah, no. You're right. You're right. Quest with Ariel. Or, yeah, give her the Eye of the Fates. I'm messing up. <laughs> <laughs> Choking on pressure. Uh, okay, what do I do eye here? Of the <laughs> eye of the Fates on Ariel. Okay. Yep. Play the other Eye of the Fates. Trigger, trigger. Eye of the Fates on Ariel. And then, yep. sick. Uh, yes, yep. Because I just need one item. Wait, yep. why can't I use it? It's saying you have to ink? What? Draw two, what? Okay, well, I guess that's bug. Play Simba, I guess that card's useless. What the right fuck? <laughs> Forgive my language. Oh my god, that's so annoying. Um, get rid of Ariel and hope it fixes it, I guess? Uh, Bro, sure. oh my gosh. Why can't I play this card? <laughs> I mean, it doesn't matter. Um, I'm, I'm out of items now. Like, Yeah, the Pixelborn is messing us up. That was the win. Uh, I, I mean, mean, you just ink it, I guess, and pass. And then Simba next turn quest for four with the Eye of the Fates. But three, four, five. That's Six, really seven. annoying. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Because, yeah, that would be super cool to be able to find the item we need. That's the whole reason why we run the car. I mean, it would help, too, if I wasn't botching the, like, quest orders. But... Yeah, that's my that was my mistake, too. I'm like, this, that's the whole point. When you get late in this list, I'm just like, oh, my gosh. Like, there's so much I have to do. And But, yeah, there's there's no way this person stops you unless he plays, like, a, a Elsa. But it's not looking like that's what he has. So he's setting up to kill Maurice. That's fine. You're still going to have a Simba the quest for four next turn, so. She's going to exert herself. Oh, that's smart. I didn't even think about that. I was going to say, he's he got has... the Elsa. Man, yeah. I should have had this. Oh, that's so frustrating. Yeah, that is very annoying. <laughs> I mean, imagine sure. doing that in, like, a real tournament. They're just like, yeah, no, you're not allowed. And then that's completely cool. useless. So. Cool. I guess uh, I lose. Yeah, that's fun. Um... That's yeah, unfortunate. <sighs> yep, we lose because of uh, fun misplay. And by misplay, I mean error in the game. Yeah, yeah, because like the freaking game wouldn't let me do it. Yeah, there is misplay there, but yeah, that was definitely the game's fault. You should be able to draw two, discard two, and then we could have gotten rid of the Simba and whatever else and just kept one item. Why didn't he I mean, just he win? Lethal. He missed lethal. Oh, boy. And we still lose because... <sighs> Fun. That's so frustrating. Alright, well, I'm yeah. just gonna concede now because it's ridiculous. 
That's so frustrating, man. Oh, sorry, it doesn't work. What do you mean it doesn't work? Then why am I running that card? Yeah, at that point, it makes you want to take it out of the list since you can't even play it on here. Yeah, right? Uh, I feel like it's like locked behind the idea of like, oh, you need to have two cards in your hand, which is not how that card works at all. Yo, I'm actually getting to go first. Whoa. Let's see how much of a difference it makes. Okay. To keep develop your brain, is there anything else I want to keep? Uh, You can keep one aerial. Uh, oh, whoops. I think everything else is gone, dude. Everything else is good to go. I have the face is good, but you really want Maurice out first. You're really looking for... Oh, nice, you found him. We even got a ransack, if it'll, if it'll let me play it. Yeah, we'll see. Nope, okay. so it's just... Uh, obviously, you don't have the ink right now, but yeah. I would just get rid of a... I would get rid of a develop your brain for a develop your brain. Yep. Fishbone? Uh, fishbone, yep. And again, I've played this list a bit. I haven't played it as much since it wasn't as competitive. But so I actually want to call ran use ransacks, but I do kind of have my my combo pieces already. Um, oh, I kind of like the mirror better. Mirror is very good. Uh, yeah, I'd get rid of that first. I just play mirror and pass. I wasn't even paying attention to what they were playing. That's my fault. Didn't even see what they inked. It's not looking either. I'm too busy watching my own game. Not like there's much interaction on your opponent's turn anyway, so. Amethyst. It's in something. And, oh, it's Ruby Amethyst. Oh, goody. Okay. We have a late game list, but we're probably going to get Dragonfire like 50 times. Um, I mean, you can ink the Smash here. If you, I mean, Gaston's not going to be able to hit anybody, so. Yes. Uh, you can get rid of Smash and play the Fishbone, and then... Ink the, I guess, let it go. Uh, yeah. This, we're not going to win that late game. Not against this, and then just yeah. pass. We have to just get there. We just need to see our pieces quicker. And try to catch them off guard with a surprise aerial, basically. <sighs> Rafiki! Okay. Uh, if I'm willing to ink Flower or Ariel, I can get out Maurice. I think you have to get, yeah, I think you just ink the Fishbone and then, fi uh, yeah, and then Fishbone the Ariel. This is the, the combo place. Maurice will dig you through your deck to find it faster. Um, so I'd rather do that in the next turn, play items and hopefully dig for her. And hope he doesn't have turn four dragon fire. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. Like, if he has Dragonfire at this point, it doesn't matter if we have an Ariel or a Maurice. We just need to... We gotta start filtering quickly. And plus, this sets you up if you get double items or no items into a Beast Mirror if you need it, so... But yeah, we just can't expose Maurice in this matchup at all. Which is fine. Let him quest for one a turn. Um... Yeah, I, I the face is great, but it's very expensive. Uh, yeah, you can play it. It's gonna need to come down eventually, anyway. <laughs> is that a useless card? Literally can't use it again. <laughs> I could try I it. I don't know if it'll let me. It won't. It's purple. Even oh, so it's legit the... bugged? What the heck? Yeah, I don't know. Um, yeah, so I would just ink it, I guess. I don't know. We have, well, maybe have to take it out for until Pixborn fixes it. And then you can play Flower and draw a card. Tomatoa, hey, that's not bad. Um, and then I would just pass. Hopefully we gotta he find the aerial. Dragon fired here. Yeah, if it's dragon fired. It's not ideal, but we'll see what happens. They almost always have it, so. Yeah, yeah, I know, right? I don't know if I've played against a Ruby list that doesn't have a dragon fire already in turn five. Yeah, exactly. They're like, hmm. Like, it's just an old man. Come on, leave me alone. Hey, Maui, all these reckless characters with nothing to... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the kind of nice thing is if is if he gets to be prepared at this point, he's going to mess his own board up. Yep, for so sure. I would... Part of me wants to ink this and just put out Tamatoa. I mean, you can. But, or, but if you think it's a better play... Tamatoa to... activate himself. So he's going to be exposed to get one hit by a Maui. All he'll do is quest for five. 
I would save Tamatoa. Or as I, much as... I could ink both and use the mirror. Yeah, I mean, you could play Fishbone, though, to dig. I don't think it's bad. And then if you save Tamatoa, eventually he is going to be a big card that just comes down for a lot of... Whatever, play that for another draw. Just basically, you're going to build up for a big Tamatoa here. And another one. <laughs> Uh, you could ink the grab your swords if you want. It doesn't kill anything on this board anyway. Other than Gaston, but, yeah. but who cares about that? Yeah. I just fishbone it and then uh, pass there. <laughs> yeah, it does. <laughs> this is where but I yeah. wish I had Aurora with Ward. That way you can't I just... know. Maybe we top deck something, hopefully. Bait out a dragon fire with that. It's only one eye of the face, which is an ideal. I don't know what this guy's doing. But Probably digging dig deeper for it. Trying to find I guess it. Uh, Archimedes, yeah, he has a bunch of little weak cards. Well, this is great for us. Because <laughs> it's time to set up. Uh, Tinkerbell's fine, but not ideal right now. You can probably ink her uh, and then play the the Tamatoa and kind of put on pressure and bait out a dragon fire that we were aerial safe. I mean, next turn, if he comes down, you're fine. We're looking shiny. You're good to pass there and see what we got. Now we can at least make use of the beast mirror. Come on, let me up. quest for seven. Maybe eight, I think. I think it's one plus that. Seven. Oh, it's so one plus getting... it. Okay, yeah. So you're looking at three turn lethal with him. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's going to run every... If he doesn't kill it right here, he's going to run everybody. You prepared to kill his own board? He might. He might. It's the typical signs of the it. quest first, and then... Yeah, there he goes. Wipe his own board. That's fine. Let me see a whole new world top. Well, no. Oh, it's Aladdin. I would ink that for sure, and then be smear. You're going to probably... You're just looking for that aerial right now. Get some items. Coconut basket's not bad. Do I play it in chain? Uh, yeah, I would. You're still looking for the aerial, and this is going to make Tomato a quest for more this turn, so you can play that. Search for. Oh, uh, yeah, Oops. I guess. I yeah, I'm going to have to discard whatever I. It's fine. You don't need that anyway. Um, cancel. You're not going to heal anybody. Do I so, quest with Tomato for nine? You can get my of the fates for ten. I would do that, I guess. Yeah, I mean, might as well. Yeah, he's going to run into him, but he will take some nope. people out with him, though. He hits pretty damn yeah, hard. The only thing I would have potentially... Ah, no, that's worth it. All right, yeah, I just passed. I was going to say, you could have given him the support with the Arendelle twice and then made a Marisa a 12-7. A beater, yeah. <laughs> a 12-hitter, I like that. Yeah, 12-7. No, but no beat. one was... Was anyone... Yeah, I guess they were. Uh, the Rafiki was the only thing you could have hit, but... You can do that next turn still with the Simba, so if you get a combo piece. He's going to have to trade everything. The best thing he can do is kill it with Aladdin, which is only going to remove two lore from you, so. I mean, he only needs to send in uh, and it still Maui kills a lot. if he wanted. Yeah, I just don't know if he wants to steal the lore from you. I yeah, guess not. That's... Well, I, I yes. quested for half my goal with Tamatoa. That was kind of satisfying. Yeah, for sure. Now you just need an aerial with one item. So if we get an aerial off the top deck into a beast mirror, we could potentially win next turn. But she can't quest next turn. Oh yeah, true, true, true. That's what I'm saying, this thing's so slow. True, true, true. You can definitely take out Aladdin next turn, which is good. Uh, play him. Really? I mean, you gotta, you gotta beast mirror. But I, I would have to get a oh, one yeah, drop. I guess, yeah. Yeah, you could technically ink. That's true. I would just, yeah, I'd ink him. I mean, I, I like the double draw, but if I do that into Mirror, I would literally need a one-drop item. Yeah, fair. What's he got on board? One, two, uh, six. Three, four, five, six. Okay. Yeah, you have to find Ariel here. So, yeah, you're going to have to draw and hope you find a better item. The only problem is... is it takes um, out a little bit. Yeah, it takes out two. I would... You're going to have to use the scepter on Maurice twice. And then 
Yeah, and then give Maya the fates as well. Oh, I guess I can't give it to him again. What? Yeah, I, he's already got it, I guess. What? Were you thinking it like double game attack? Apparently it doesn't yeah, do that. Yeah, it's supposed to, I'm pretty sure. Well, Pixelborn ain't letting me do it. Bruh, what the f- Okay, well that's fine, just- Okay, and then I have the Fates of Maurice quest, and then... <sighs> Support Simba, have him trade into the Aladdin, and then play Grab Your Swords. And that'll take out three things. How odd. There you go. And pass there. Still not in great shape, but yeah, that was that was a good. <laughs> yeah, yeah well, I guess. Him down to three more. Man. Yeah, I swear you that. Hmm. See, hmm. like it's so weird because I feel like I want the items, I want the items to come out once Ariel's there, but yeah. I also need them to come out for Maurice. So I don't know. This deck's just. Well, fun. we definitely should have had the items early. Okay. So he has how much on board? Four. He has so four. Yeah, you just have to, you have to play here, beast mirror. And then look for an item. And hope to God he doesn't. Yeah. And just you have to hope that. Okay. I mean, I would. I can hold it I for would next turn. That out, yeah, in case you draw something bad. And then I just. Yeah, I'd pass. Pass and hope. Yep, pass and hope. Pass and hope, folks. Here we go. The old pass Here and hope. Here we go. The old pass and hope. Would would what this be pass? better? The sapphire. We've talked about this a lot of times. Would this sapphire be better with something like Amethyst where you can naturally draw cards? I don't think it's bad. I feel like with this list with Fishbone, you do go through cards a lot, and I think that's the... That sucks. Well, that's pretty much the worst card we could have seen. So, uh, um, yeah, I don't know. Like, I like the whole new world for the full refill, but... Man, that's so annoying. So now what do we need off the top? Grab your swords, exactly. I don't no, think I even that does it. I mean, you play an item first, see what you get. How unlucky. Uh, you can play Simba, or you can ink Simba, play the Scepter, and then draw again. Develop your brain. <laughs> <laughs> Let it go, it's not bad. I mean, it doesn't save me here, though. No, oh, you're, oh, well, it might. It, so that gets rid of Elsa, and you have to draw a card. No, it doesn't. I think you're screwed. Uh, you're not, you're not done yet. Hang on. Yeah, let him cook. All right, yeah, get rid of Elsa. All right, hang on. <laughs> now I draw with the Beast Mirror. <laughs> I've got one ink left. Oh, no, so close. All right, yeah. I was going to say, we could have fishbone something, but now you have to get so many draw. Ah, oh, dang it. It's just not, it's not working, man. Is this, is this so a faulty items. list? Such a fault of this. We need double Tamatoa. If only Ransack would have worked... Okay, folks, made a few deck adjustments since Ransack doesn't just work for some reason and which robbed us of <laughs> the one win we maybe could have gotten. 0 for 3 so far in this item deck. It is not looking good. We're going to try ranked again. And, of course, I go second for the third time tonight. Three out of four games. Pretty good odds. That's pretty good. All right, I do have a little <laughs> one jump. Other than that, this looks terrible. Oh, yeah. I would get rid of basically everything here. Should I hold so a one jump? Yeah, that's fine. It'll ramp you up if you don't see your fishbone. Well, that's not much better. Yeah, that's <laughs> also complete ass. There's Amethyst. Amethyst Steel, okay. Alright, well. Um. I mean, Tink's gotta go, probably. She's too slow for now. Alright, but I might need to remove some of this stuff. Yeah, you got Smash in your hand. Should I do the Maybe. Scepter or just sit on it? I just hold it. We need some kind of card draw with a horrible hand. Like yeah, this. right. <laughs> Maybe I should let you play this and I coach because your luck is yeah, way better than true. mine. Very true. That might be what changes it up. I mean, you saw that other video. I was like, what, out of six matches, I went first twice? Yeah, that's pretty good. Right? <laughs> um... Since Scepter doesn't super work well together, I'd just get rid of one for now in one jump. And that sets you up for an Eye of the Fates next turn. So you seem to think you should be able to double support. Is that, like, did someone tell you that, or where did you get that from? 
I don't know. I swear, I, I feel like I played this list, and back on Pixelborn when I first played this list, I was able to cast support on Ariel twice. Yeah. And then just, like, double boost her. Well, and that's, I don't trust Pixelborn, obviously, <laughs> as we've seen tonight. Yeah. So, like, just because Pixelborn isn't letting us doesn't mean that it shouldn't work that way. And, and yeah. from what I've seen so far in Lorcana's design, there isn't restriction on any of this. Like, there's nothing that says, we well, can only give it one time. Yeah. So I don't know. I mean, it does say they gain support, and support just says, like, when they quest, give their attack to somebody else. So I don't know if you can have that twice. Maybe it's just, like, you need it on both aerials, and then you can do it twice. I don't know. But it seems odd to me. But who knows? Hopefully he just does nothing but quest with Captain Hook all game. I'm fine with that. Well, he's playing that big Simba, so that gives me hope. Right. Um... I mean, we can get rid of Smash since he's not playing targets right now and just play the eye and get it, like, ready. He is playing I, Steel, so he could potentially break our yeah. items, but... True. We do have to watch for Beast. Um, but we have but yeah, multiple of them, obviously, as well. I, yeah. I still think you play the eye of the face and pass. It's the best on curve you can get. My draw it right now is terrible. Yeah, the fact that we're not finding any, like, fish bones to get out... Maurice early or anything because if he could have come out already that would have been huge for us to be able to play an item and then or have him out next turn and potentially seeing whole new world but never lucky always get punished her. never lucky all right could do another eye of the fates could do a tink and a mirror what do you think? Could ink the tank. I like I like Tink stopping Captain Hook from questing for free. Um, but then that also slows us down because I don't know what we ink for Maurice. I well, guess we. I could the ink other. Scepter and get out Tinkerbell and the Mirror. Yeah, that's fine. I think that's a good play. I know we got rid of one Scepter, so we just have to make sure we keep at least one. Not yeah. that we need it, but there's a cheap one drop. So I'm trying to keep that in mind and then pass. Yeah. Gotta use our value, so we'll give Tinkerbell an ability she can't use. That tricks. Because I could, if I have to next turn, I could ink the eye, put out Maurice, and get the whole new world ready. Yeah, for sure. Because you can then ink whatever you top deck, potentially, and then sing it with Maurice if you need to. <laughs> I just picture yeah. Maurice going to the Beast Castle singing that, I can show you the world. Oh, yeah. Talking to Bella about his old romantic fantasies. Right. That yeah. My did. daughter, if I ever told you how I met... Yeah, we don't know who his mother is, so... Well, it's all, it all tracks. Yeah, or who her mother is. Just like the whole uh, theory with the Tarzan world being like the long-lost brother of Elsa and Anna and all that. Oh, is it really? I haven't heard that. Yeah, they're like that's when they like left in the movie Frozen. They went on that ship and they wrecked or whatever. Oh. They like landed on the island and then that's where they had Tarzan. That's kind of interesting. Yeah, I was like, holy moly! I think there's like stuff in the movie that show it, but or shows like the island or something like that. It's weird. Cool though. Very small details. Well, they've either disconnected or they're stumped about what to do here because. Well, it says you, yeah, I don't know. That says opponents. Oh, are we going to get a timeout turn? Please. Give me a, I want to, oh, okay, he's, he plays so many, okay. He broke he his own break, mirror. Oh, I'm okay with that, that's fine. <laughs> I much more value the Eye of the Fates. Um, or I could ink a second Maurice. Or I could draw with yeah. Tinkerbell, too. Tinkerbell just draws and then discards, right? Yeah. And then uh, the beast would eat her alive. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't do that. I would, uh, <laughs> Uh, I would get rid of the. <laughs> we have one eye of the face. I'd probably get rid of the Maurice for a Maurice. Um, and then. Pass there. See what we can get next turn. And then. See if we need to sing. We could potentially play eye of the face and sing with Maurice next yeah, turn. If we have to. The only worry with. The only worry about that is then he trades in with Beast and Captain Hook. Yeah, that's true. Should kill him, so that's probably not super Well, but if he, if he quests with Hook this turn, I can... Oh, well, he didn't do it last turn, but I'll say yeah. Bell, Tinkerbell can punish him. Yeah, for sure. Let's 
I do kind of want to wreck that big hand of his. Yeah, for sure. Even if we don't Eye of the Fates, I think it's fine to just play Whole New World outright and not sing it. Keeps Marie safe. He doesn't have much that can do 7 damage and steal. Like, he can double smash and grab your swords, yeah. I guess. <laughs> that's a lot. Yeah, that's a lot of commitment. Beast can sing, grab your swords at this point, but this still doesn't do anything for him. Amethyst can freeze stuff, but... Oh no, it's tink. a big tink! That's fine. Oh... Oh, and he didn't do anything. Okay, so what are we looking at here? I think we just ink the frying pan and then play Whole New World. Uh, what about yeah. Eye of Fates? Just let it go? I wanted to, I'd wanted. i rather go to the discard in case there's something that... I guess we don't have anything that gets it back in this list. Huh? I thought we did. I thought uh, Tamatoa or somebody did. Maybe he does. I think Tamatoa might when he quests. Yeah, so I'd rather ink the frying pan and get back Eye of the Fates. That way it's potentially still available. So play Whole New World? Whole New World, yep. There we go. I can do a B smear or a one jump. Yeah, B smear we kind of need to hold on to. Um, I don't see any item we're going to get. I would play Coconut Basket, to be honest, or B smear, one of the two. Probably Coconut Basket in case you get the aerial, then you can play your next turn and heal. It's a good card, but I don't think we need it right now. I guess it depends on how much you value that Tinkerbell. I guess we could shift her. Well, I could turn, shift so her I... next turn, yeah. Yeah. Should I just pass? just pass? Yep, I just pass. Before I do. Yeah. Send a message. Yeah. <laughs> you thought I was questing. No. Psych! Dude, we are we are over 20 cards deep in our deck, and we haven't seen a single aerial. Love that for this list. <laughs> you know, the, the whole the card, the whole list is based around, like... And, and, and so that, if they never add anything like searching to Lorcana, it makes me very skeptical about decks like this that kind of have these goofy gimmicks of ever really succeeding because, yeah. yeah. How can they when it's like, well, I can't even draw the power card that I need, so. Yeah, the one key combo piece. That is unfortunate for sure. I can let it go his own tank if I really have to. Yeah, that's potentially what I'm debating because you could shift on your tank and have your tank sing. Or you can have Tink. If he quests with beasts, you're probably trading with Big Tink, pinging the Captain Hook, and then letting go with Maurice on the Tinkerbell. You'll have Maurice sing, let it go, removes the Tinkerbell, Big Tink shifts in, kills Beast, and Hook. And then... Yo. Okay. Well... So much for that plan. That plan. And that plan, it's out the window. And it's gone. <laughs> That's fine. I'm happy he killed that over the Maurice, to be honest. If he double if he double hit Maurice, I'd be crying. Yeah, <laughs> uh, I feel real bad. Although I can heal him. I can heal him by one next time I play a character. Yeah, true. You could actually, yeah, yeah. I was say, you might even be able to hit something. I do but, have a fishbone quill now, too, so I can, like... Yeah, that's kind of what I'm leaning in, or trying to calculate for as well. Okay. So that's there's a thing. Ariel. Hey, there's Ariel. That may be play now. We've got a lot of options. What do we do? I think we do Ariel into... Oh. How much does he have on board right now? One, two, three, six. four, five, six. Okay. Um... I guess we play... I want to get Big Tink out to, like, scare him into not questing, but I think we do have to play Big Tink here. Just put her Either out. that, yeah, I think we play Big Tink and then scare him and then heal Maurice. That way he's a little more skeptical about it. Um, I could ink something and either draw with the mirror or play one jump. I would probably... Ink the fishbone's great, but I don't think it's ideal right now. I'd probably get rid of fishbone and then play one jump and then get yourself up in higher ink because you're going to. Uh, I just pass. You're gonna be at the point where you can uh, 
the worst case scenario, use Holy World again. Yeah. But I mean, ideally, I I'd like to just put Ariel out and then just combo off on him. But Ariel's going to be the ideal turn. But if he has another smash, we're just screwed. Yeah, which um, sucks. That's kind of why. I, that's why I wonder stuff. if you should like invest more in Aurora so they can't just yeah. can't hit you with. Stick. Might be worth it. I, th I don't see it as being horrible. But again, I, I do not know. If he goes up to what, would that be 13? 13. So I don't, still... but yeah, like you said, hopefully he's now at least a little hesitant to commit to that with Tinkerbell on the board. Yeah. yeah. I think that's probably the best that we got. Worst case scenario, if he, had, if he quests with literally nothing, we just, we would, well, Tinkerbell sing, let it go and get rid of their Tinkerbell. And then he can trade in with two things for one if he wants. Yeah. We'd kill him. Even if he leaves up just Beast, like, we have Smash in there to deal with him, too. I do have to be careful, because he is playing all these Steel, but he is also running Amethyst, so if he gets out, like, Elsa... He's already you know, used two whole new... two Grab Your Swords and two Smashes. Yeah. He's also used three freaking... Somehow he got Ursula in there. How did that happen? I don't know. Oh, I, I used Whole New World, didn't I? Oh, yeah, yeah, that's it. That's yep. how. I was like, wait a minute. I never saw him play these cards. This is ridiculous. <laughs> how did you... <laughs> you, know, you know you're bad at the game when your opponent's like, uh, you made me put him in there, and I'm like, oh, okay, that's fine. He's questing. Okay. Oh, he, is he, maybe he's just trying to race me at this point. So what do we do here? And Tinkerbell trades with Tinkerbell. Oh, no. Oh. Now he doesn't want to. Okay, well, that's still fine. Oh wow! Okay, well. Holy moly! Okay, so how do we got to deal with this? I can also so, heal Tinkerbell first if I put out Ariel. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So we got to play Ariel for sure. Heal the Tinkerbell by one. Do that. Yep. Ariel's got to come down anyway at this point. Heal Tinkerbell. Yep. And then we hit the Tinkerbell, and then we kill the hook, I guess. Kill hook. Yep. He still has lethal, technically. Yeah, I know. Now we have to decide who. I want to let it go on the Tinkerbell. I just don't know. Oh, yeah. I gotcha. Uh, if I want to sing it or if I want to play it. I guess we probably sing it with Maurice, but I think we play the mirror first. Play the mirror we first. We got to see anything, yeah. Try to dig and see what we got. If he's going to sing anyway, it's fine. Okay. Um, you can ink one eye of the fates for the other eye of the fates. Yep. And then draw another card. Hey. And I would let it go, sing it, and then get rid of the Tinkerbell. Yep. Wait. Use him to sing it, and then you... Okay, I was like, wait a minute, I don't want to throw my own Maurice in there. You're good, and then you pass. There I don't go. trust Pixelborn, and I could see myself doing that. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> All right. So there's no way he leaves Tink alone. The only crappy thing is he has a third big Tink already, and then he just shifts it on and then kills our Tink. Oh, my God. Uh, the Dang. whole board just dies, and it feels real bad. It feels real bad. Well, that okay. feels bad, that, too. That feels just as bad. <laughs> uh, I don't have easily. any items to play, either. Just leave my old man alone, please. You don't want to do this. No. Father. Yeah, Ariel's father. <laughs> yeah, right. Okay, what do we got here? All right, well, well so bells. Okay. So, whole new world. Uh, Ink Simba first, I guess. I mean, I could always put out Tamatoa. I don't think I can race him, but... Well, how much does he have on board? One, two, three, four, six. five, six. Yeah. Um, ink Simba? I mean, Tamato only quest for five, so that ain't gonna work. Yeah, I'd Ink Simba play Whole New World. You need to find a grab your swords. Or Maurice. Because he's at no cards in hand right now. Like, if you find... I mean, I know you're gonna give him a whole hand here, but... I got one. Uh, yeah, that's one. That's not bad. Uh, you need to... Let me see. Got to really look. You're at exactly six. Correct. So yeah, your your play is going to probably be. The other thing I could do is put out Ariel, heal him, 
I mean, he can't quest, hope he yeah. doesn't have any removal, and then try to chain off on the next turn and go 0 to 20. I don't know if I can do that. <laughs> uh, yeah. Because Grab Your Swords do, only uh, gets rid of two things. I mean, it, it's a two quest yeah, or here's so. Here's what I would do. I would do, I would play Ariel first, heal Ariel for two. Yep, and then you're going to swing Ariel into the Prince Eric. I am? Yeah, and then you're going to play an item to reactivate her. You're going to play the flower, and then you'll heal her with the flower. I think that's a one play. I think you just play a flower, yeah. And then heal her up, and that'll reactivate her. It's weird, but it, it keeps you alive and removes that potential of a Prince Eric trading in for a 3 for 1. Should I use uh, you can develop brain? your brain. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. You gotta find something here. Okay. Hey! There she is! She's alright! Alright. Um, and then you just pass. You Let's know. see what okay. happens. If we don't have the Maurice for in infinite card draw, which sucks, but we're also not dead on board now. Because now we can technically trade in one Ariel to a Tinkerbell and another Ariel to another Tinkerbell and then grab your swords and then clear everything that's currently on board. Oh, boy. Oh, that's not good. Fuck! Oh, that's not uh, good. That's what I was expecting to happen. Alright, well. We Dude, still this, have another aerial. This deck is terrible. <laughs> it's not great, bro. It's definitely a fun list. <laughs> oh, golly. Well, he only has lethal on board, so I think we're set. Um... I mean, I can grab your swords, but I can't. This Elsa alone is going to win. Like, Yeah, I don't think there's anything that we can. We can't get rid of our whole hand. Uh, and grab your swords doesn't even kill anything but beast. So, uh, um, yep, this is pretty shy. We have no draw. They kill our Maurice and I cry. Why you got to take out Maurice, man? He's just an old man. That's so crazy. I mean, you could do an item, yeah, and try to go. I mean, it doesn't matter. Eight. I can't hit the Elsa, but I'll I'll, I'll at least uh, go out with a vengeance. I was say you could have quested and then played your other item and then quested again for four and... <laughs> He's taking them all out, baby. Let's go play the big aerial. Get wrecked, nerd. Yeah, you're bad. Oh, unlucky. Uh, I'll heal his Elsa uh, on the way out. No room for fun lists in this game. Man, this <laughs> sucks. I was hoping this would show off a little bit. I don't know if it's the ranked or just the list is bad or what, but... Yeah, it's hard to say. All right, well, I'm going to try, try one, one last one in lab, see if that makes a difference. Sounds good. We'll try this. See how this goes. <laughs> this will be the last one regardless, even if we can finally get that win, but this is uh, not going well. We're going first. Okay. Nice, we have one third lore right now, so that's good. <laughs> All right. This um, looks pretty bad. I mean, most of it's bad. Ariel's not bad, Eye of the Faith isn't bad, and Aurora is not horrible, but I'd keep the develop your brain, I'd keep one Ariel, and I'd keep the Eye of the Fates. So everything else can go. There you go. There's a one jump, right. that's not terrible. Not horrible. One jump's good for ramp. Develop is a turn one. That's not an item, which is good. I just want to do an aerial combo. We'll get there. We got this, I believe. <laughs> Four games in, we're just getting smashed. Although, to be fair, we, we should have won, won that one we game. Won game three, but with misplay and ransack being annoying. Yeah. Um, do you ink, let it go, Tink, Scepter? I do Tink t for now. Tink's not. We don't have little Tink, and yeah, we don't. We have no idea what they're playing, so... Maurice. 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 The baguettes. Yes. Hurry up. Look, there he goes. She's a mermaid underwater. <laughs> I just fuse. I'm fusing songs there. But to be fair, it's also Maurice and Ariel working together, which doesn't make much sense. All right. We got a starter deck. This is huge. You know? yeah, right. These are Sapphire. Sapphire. Okay. Sapphire Ruby. That's fine. More uninkable oh. cards. Hooray. I mean, get rid of Let It Go, I guess. Man, we only run 12 in this list. Right? <laughs> Dude, I'm telling you, it's me. Like, That's the luck is, is horrendous. And you, get to, right. you get to watch it live. You get to commentate oh. on my luck live. This is fabulous.
Okay, so assuming no shenanigans I need to worry about, do I just try to jam out Ariel next turn or Eye of the Fates or? Yeah, Ariel's not bad. I mean, Ariel allows you to value quest, so. Let's see what he plays. He Get also wishes off. to ramp up. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. I'm telling you, dude. Uh, Scepter's gotta go. You gotta keep eye and then just play Ariel, I guess. Yeah. Just in case you draw no ink again, you need to keep your ink pools in hand, I guess. Sheesh. Unreal. Unreal. And by unreal, I mean, hey, this happens to me all the time. The I can, it, to... it won't be much lore, but I can quest, play the eye, hit her quest oh, yeah. again. That won't be bad. That's probably your play, uh, barring he doesn't go like super wide with low drops, or you don't get like a fish bone and potentially can like gear up from race, but I still think that's your play. I think I just sets up, and then you need something inkable off the top to play Maurice next turn. We've already drawn all of our own inkables, right? Come on, just give me a... Just give us a... Alright, well, there's Fishbone. Uh, Fishbone's not bad, but we can't really keep it right now. And we're about to hold new world, so I'd ink Fishbone, play Eye of the Fates. Or Quest first, yeah. And then Eye of the Fates. Do I quest uh, yeah. again? Yeah. Probably not, because he'd trade in. No, no, no. I don't want him to... Yeah, I don't... I'm, I'm good on that. Pass. Yep, just pass. I could also grab your sword. I, I don't really care if he yeah. gets that. And I just don't want this Aladdin to shift in. Yeah, shift in for sure. He's got the... What's it called, too? Not that Aladdin could do much. He has no way to dull you, so... Well, that's also true. And there goes a big Aladdin, so he definitely has an Aladdin in yeah. hand. Oh, he's got plenty of Aladdin in hand. Oh, I could really mess this board up right now. Yeah, I probably would just grab your swords next turn. As much as I love this, you don't even have a ton of items to draw Maurice, so... Is there any rush I would need to worry about? I guess if he had Maui. So maybe I don't risk questing with yeah. Ariel. I think Bell, for sure. And then grab your um, swords of Maurice. He's, he's at a plus three currently. Although if he goes into big Aladdin, I won't be able to kill it with grab your swords at that point. Yeah. Um, Maurice sets you up, though, to either grab your swords or Holy World Sing next turn. I just don't know if you if you care about him shifting in. Uh, I think you can grab your swords. It's a big clear, but it does give him ink with the grandma tall, but that's fine. I think you're okay and with this. And then just this. pass? Yep, just pass. You can't don't want him to have a Maui or something? Yeah, I say I can't risk the area. Even though I hate falling behind. Maybe that's why I keep losing, because I don't ever... Uh... <laughs> uh, oh, look, nope. Okay, See? There you go. We knew it. We called it. It was waiting there. <laughs> Maui, you can just sit there patiently. Uh, I would just play that. Maurice, yep. And then... Ink or use? Well, I, I can't just, use I, it. I'd have to ink it. Yeah, I just ink it and then pass. So we're getting ready to sing a whole new world. Yep. Maurice's favorite to... story. Have I ever told you about when I met your mother? This guy has no idea what's about to happen. Let's Hopefully he doesn't have a card in hand he likes. He's just holding on to three be prepared. Right, yeah. <laughs> I just ink the flower and then whole new world sing. Unless. Are we unless sure? Because that opens him to Maui. Yeah, I mean, Maui doesn't. Kill. I guess he would both kill. Uh, yeah, so I I would Eye of the Fates, Ariel. Okay. And then quest with her. Play the flower. Draw trigger. Ink tink. Yep. And then just sing, whole, or not sing, just play Whole New World out, right? A whole new world. Seriously, we got rid of, Damn, we had terrible items off that. He had um, a dragon fire and a be prepared, all right? Nice. Love that. Um, he probably has three of those now. I could uh, quest put out either frying pan or scepter. Actually, I can I, if I put out frying pan and use it, I can prevent Maui from hitting me. Yeah, what I would do is actually quest with both of them. That reduces your item. You can play frying pan, use it. Yeah, quest with both. Frying pan. Activate, activate. Use frying pan on Maui. 
and then Quest play again. another fight or a mirror. Oh yeah, quest with Ariel first, sorry, and then do the other one. There two drop. Trigger, trigger. Feels good. You pass. There uh, you go. Should I quest this? I mean, he can't attack. He could hit. I him. don't want to find another Maui. He's getting yeah. seven cards. At that's the end. that's fair. Good point. Good point. Good point. So, since this isn't Final Fantasy, he definitely can just play a multiple of the same character. Yeah, I know. I always get confused on that. I'm like, what do you mean Maui's on the field? He can't put another one out. <laughs> for sure. Well, now we're looking we're looking pretty good for next turn too. We have three two items in hand with double card draw. You potentially could double Maurice. I don't want to like. I do know he's like technically on be prepared, so we'll see what he does here. Yeah. If he has another one, the chances of it are pretty high. I feel like, but I guess not because he didn't he didn't think and then play it. So maybe he's just too worried to lose his Maui. I don't know. I do. Want, part of me wants to be greedy and go for like double Maurice card draw next turn. But, right. I mean, you could technically draw four cards with Maurice. Is that worth it to lose both? I think it is. Tamatoa lets me get back an item when you play him. That's who I was thinking of. Cool. Okay. Is it worth it to do Maurice next turn, barring the board wipe, ink one thing, and then quest with Maurice, play frying pan for zero, draw two cards with both Maurice's. Yeah. Yeah. I and like that. Play another one drop scepter, draw two more cards with both Maurice's. I mean, I, I kind of want to do it. We, we, okay. What's worse so, is yeah, going to we'll happen? Make we... sure you, yeah, make sure you definitely eye the fates first. And then we'll go from there. Eye of the Fates on Ariel, as yep. always. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I mean, what's the worst that's going to happen? We're going to lose again? He'll be prepared and wipe his whole own board out. He's going pretty wide for yeah. a be prepared. So. Wow, I never thought I'd see Frying Pan be useful, but against stuff like this, know. it's quite useful. Check right. your one cards. You don't want to die. Yeah. Hey, that's pretty good. Okay. okay. So, so Eye of the Fates. Eye of the Fates. Down Ariel, yep, and then you'll quest with her. Quest with Maurice quest too, with Marie, and then play Maurice. Yep, and then you're gonna eat something first. I guess it doesn't really matter. Uh, you can just play frying pan first if you want. All Draw the two. activations. Hell yeah, or heck yeah. Sorry, like an uh, ink Simba. Simba is not a bad ink, but you also don't want to like. Yeah, that's fine. Either that or just play the scepter first and see what you get. Me... Simba is a filter. Quest and then scepter. Trigger, trigger, trigger. Is this mono wind? Right, yeah. Uh, <laughs> and, then, and then you're going to ink whatever you want. You could ink the Tinkerbell if you want. I don't think she's really needed right mm -hmm. now. Because you're basically... If he be prepared, to, you can just drop Tomatoa at this point. Um, Should I drop Simba or just wait? I would definitely hit Maui with the frying pan. Yeah. And then... Uh, you can drop Simba, I think. I think it's fine. Because if I can get another one-drop well. item... You want to find something. Oh, that's not terrible. Yeah, that's good. You can get rid of a smash, I guess, or let it go. Either one. Should I uh, use this? Uh, yeah, go ahead. Nice. Uh, or do I draw yeah. the flower? Uh, flower's probably better. If he's gonna kill your stuff, it's all gonna be dead That's true. Turn anyway. So, and then mm. if not, you just win next turn anyway, so, and then just pass. Alright, you got that be prepared, sucker? Holy cow, we might win a game. Oh my gosh, if not, Tomato may come out being glam as heck. Right? He gonna Big. look shiny. I do like the double Maurice card draw, that does feel pretty darn good. Oh, I know, man. I've had people have three of them out, I'm like, ha! How am I supposed to keep up? Yeah. <laughs> He's got 7 HP, too, so most stuff can't just take him out. Even Maui is, like, as big of a hitter as he is. Like, Oof. that's enough. But that's not enough. <laughs> I like the... I like, This is where you need the voice line for every time he draws. It works! It works! It works! It works! <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> oh, great. Yeah, because, I mean, he has to stop... Trades in everything here. Maurice doesn't die. I mean, you quest for one, two, three, four, five already, and then the item reactivates Ariel, so. Let's go! We did it! Are we gonna, we gonna win a game? Do I put out the other Maurice first? Do I have enough? Uh, 
uh, yeah, you should. Use Ariel, I have the Fates, and then Quest, yeah. And quest with Ariel. Here we go. Quest. Quest. Here we go. Here we go, all the items, let's go! Another <laughs> oh, we did it! Finally! Wow, well we got there, we did get a single win. <laughs> Uh, you did mention that there might be some cards coming out in the next set. Maybe it'll kind of help this a little more. Yeah, I know they released that uh, that Cogsworth that gives Ward and Resist. I feel like that's really good for things like in a, in a matchup where you're facing Steel, they can't just use Smash on Ariel and kill her for three. It would only right. do two, so you'd be safe. Grab your swords would only do one to your board, so I it's think a, that would be really It's nice. a cool deck. Like I like the idea, and like you said, it actually it's one of the few combo decks it feels like. But yeah, I don't know. It's, uh, I don't know if it's the right elements or it's just the wrong meta or what, but yeah, it's... I, I definitely feel like with Sapphire being as weak as it is, it is very hard, and I, you are very limited in set one with the items that you can use. Like, you're literally just throwing in every item that you can. I know. That, that so would help, that, too, if I, we had better items. Any item that, like, feeds the combo anymore would be amazing. Or, like, I, I, and, like, my biggest thing is, like, the item I see being printed in the future, in my, in my glorious future, is, like, uh... Sapphire seems like they have Ward with Aurora and that Cogsworth coming out, so I'm hoping there's items like, hey, even if it's like the flower, like banish this item, give a character Ward for one turn. That would yeah. be so useful yeah. for like Ariel, like protecting her for one whole turn. Yeah. They couldn't get her. Yeah. In public. That'd be so, huge. That'd be huge. Hopefully something like that happens. But Fingers crossed. Well, Dalton, thank you for taking the time to help coach me here, and uh, it was fun to do this with a partner. No problem. I was happy to be here. Absolutely. Folks, thank you for watching. If you liked, uh, feel free to leave a comment, like, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, all that jazz. And let me know if you've got any kind of funky decks like this, too, that you've been trying out that maybe, you know, maybe they're not super meta, but you're trying to get them to work. So, and hey, we're so close to a thousand subscribers. So if you want to help uh, contribute to that, always happy to have more people watching and going to do our best to keep you entertained. So until next time, take care.